Hey, I'm Kyle Gorman with the Employer Blueprint, and we're walking through a little series right now specifically on the foundation of becoming a great manager. And today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, what I call the manager's mirror. So the manager's mirror is a, is a very basic concept that I've created, and it has to do with understanding that as you build this foundation to be a manager, one of the first places you need to look is at yourself. You need to look at your reflection. So here's what I mean by this as we kind of break this down a little bit. If you see something in your team or in your company, in your department that you don't like, you need to look at yourself first. As an example, if you recognize that your team is maybe a little unorganized, not that great with clients, guess what? you are probably unorganized and not that great with clients because your team is going to reflect your leadership style. So before you get frustrated with something that your organization is doing, you need to look and see, am I the one that has ultimately led that cause because of the example that I create? So the first thing you have to do is look at yourself whenever you find something that you don't like in others. So on the flip side of this, since your team is gonna reflect the manager, you need to make sure that you're paying attention to how you act, how you react, the type of communication style that you have, and that you are incorporating a style that you think is ultimately gonna be healthy for your organization's culture. Because it's through this that your team is going to start implementing those same things. In fact, they may not even do it on purpose. It's just going to naturally begin to happen as your team develops and as they start to see this is how the leadership is, therefore this is how I'm gonna be. And the next thing we want to talk about as we look in this mirror is, have I outlined the proper expectations? Now, oftentimes as managers, we see that there's an issue or a challenge on our team, especially with a, with a specific individual, and we automatically want to point fingers and blame them. Well, they aren't doing this and they aren't doing that. But again, we need to take out our manager's mirror and we need to look at this and say, well, did I provide the expectations for them? Because if you didn't, that's not their fault. That's your fault. And you need to fix that before you can go to them and try to fix them. Because again, all of, this, all of these concepts around management are gonna fall back on you and how you've developed and led your team. So don't immediately point fingers and say, well, they aren't doing this and they aren't doing that. The question is, did you explain to them very clearly, very clearly that this is what you expect? And if they accomplish these things, it will lead to greater success in their career. That's up to you. That's part of your responsibility as their manager and as their leader. And the last thing I want to talk about in the manager's mirror is, does your team have the tools they need to succeed? And again, this kind of goes back to the last point, but oftentimes we point to how people have messed up or errors that they're making. And really it may be something as simple as they don't have the tools they need to do their job. Well, and if they don't, is that their fault? And again, I hope you understand it's not. That's your fault. It's your responsibility. You need to pull out that manager's mirror and look at it and say, what have I done to ensure they have the support and the tools that they need to succeed? Because if you aren't providing that, they're never going to exceed, they're never gonna excel, and they're never gonna meet the expectations because as we just talked about, you didn't really outline it for them. So make sure that you are providing the support and tools and go to them and ask for feedback on that. What do you need to succeed? What will help you in this role? That's your responsibility as a manager and as a leader in your organization. So make sure you're pulling out this manager's mirror whenever you see something that you feel like isn't going the direction that you want it to go in the organization. So this is Kyle Gorman with the Employer Blueprint. We've talked about one of my favorite topics, the manager's mirror. And anytime you see something happening in your organization that just doesn't quite feel right, pull out the mirror first. First thing you do in the morning when you get up is you look in the mirror and make sure you're ready for the day. And that should be the first thing you do when you see a problem in your organization. Pull out the mirror and make sure that everything's ready. Make sure that you've got everything in order. Because if not, that's not your team's responsibility, that's yours. Hope you enjoyed today's content. If you have any questions about this or problems and challenges that you're facing, I wanna hear about it. Please let me know, I'd love to help you through these things. In the meantime, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We've got a great topic coming up next week. I can't wait to share it with you. I'm Kyle Gorman with the Employer Blueprint.